Hey everyone, welcome back to the NPTE podcast. This is Will Crane, your host. Thank you so much for joining me as we go through the content you need in order to dominate on test day. So today I've got a practice question for you. This is related to the neuromuscular and nervous system. But before I get to that, just a quick reminder of a couple things. I'll talk more about this at the end of today's podcast. But two things. Number one, if you still want to grab a copy of our free regenerative medicine course, it is a mini course. You can grab that totally for free. Again, that's for an extremely extremely limited time. You want to take advantage of that. Uh, in order to do so, go to ptfinalexam.com slash podcast where you'll be able to access that free regenerative medicine course. Again, that's new. In 2024, they've added some regenerative medicine content. So you can expect to see that on the NPT. So if you want a freebie, just go over to ptfinalexam.com slash podcast. It is for an extremely limited time, so you will not want to miss out there. The other thing that I will mention, I'll talk a little bit more about this at the end, but we're having a free event for uh, an on-site NPTE prep course. Uh, this is going to occur on the weekend of March 1st. It'll be in Chicago. It's totally free if you want to access that. Again, the easiest way to find that is to go to ptfinalexam.com slash podcast, where you can find out all the information and register. Registration, again, is extremely limited, so, so you'll want to make sure to register for that as quickly as you can. So I'll talk more about that here in a minute. But today, I do want to talk about a practice question. So I've got a practice question related to the neuromuscular and nervous system on exam day. So as you recall, this portion of the exam contains somewhere around 39 to 48 questions. So it is a very robust system on the exam. It's the second largest system on the exam. So you can expect a number of questions related to this on test day. So today I've got a practice question related to that. As per our usual, what I'll do is I will read to you the question, give you a moment to respond, and then we'll talk about it together. And then like I said, I've got more information about this on-site event coming up at the end. So let's go ahead and dive into our question. So here is our question for today. Lumbar disc herniation of the L3, L4 intervertebral disc is most likely to cause which of the following symptoms? Lumbar disc herniation of the L3, L4 intervertebral disc is most likely to cause which of the following symptoms? We have one, weak psoas, anterior thigh paresthesia. Two, weak quadriceps, anterolateral thigh paresthesia. Three, weak extensor hallucis longus, lateral thigh paresthesia, and four, weak ankle plantar flexors, posterior leg paresthesia. So we've got lumbar disc herniation of the L3, L4 intervertebral disc is most likely to cause which of the following symptoms? So one again, weak psoas, anterior thigh paresthesia, two, weak quadriceps, anterolateral thigh paresthesia, three, weak extensor hallucis longus, lateral thigh paresthesia, and four, weak ankle plantar flexors, posterior leg paresthesia. All right, so this is essentially two items in this question that are important to identify. Number one is the lumbar disc herniation of L3, L4. This indicates we're talking about the disc that is between L3 and L4. Now, this is a confusing topic, so I'll try to say it clearly. L3 and L4, the nerve that exits between L3 and L4 is indeed L3, because remember, in the lumbar spine, the disc, or sorry, not the disc, the lumbar nerve root exits below its named vertebra. So in this case, uh, we're talking about between L3 and L4, the L3 nerve root exits. However, however, this is a key exception in the lumbar spine. Because of the cauda equina, the lumbar nerve root makes its escape above the disc, the intervertebral disc. So very, very literally here, we're talking between L3 and L4, the L3 nerve root exits, but the L3, L4 disc is below that. And so therefore, the L3, L4 disc is not likely to hit the L3 nerve root, rather it's most likely to hit the L4 nerve root. And so what I tell students is that it's, essentially it's hitting the wrong nerve root. So in this case, the correct answer would be weak quadriceps with anterolateral thigh paresthesia. So we're talking about the L4 myotome, dermatome and myotome. So usually we think about L4 as being associated with ankle dorsiflexion, but it's also highly involved with the quadricep function as well. Quadriceps gets input from L2, L3, L4. Uh, so Dutton and McGee both described that some of the most common disc or nerve pathology impairments would involve weak quadriceps 
as well as the anterolateral thigh paresthesia. So this is where the L4 dermatome comes down and around. So it starts on the outer thigh and eventually down in the leg, it goes to the to the dorsum of the foot and the medial leg. But it follows this, this weird kind of spiral pattern that starts on the outside of the thigh and down to the medial side of the leg. But in any case, this is the most likely problem with the L4 nerve root. So the L4 nerve root, again, is going to be involved primarily in tibialis anterior, but it's also going to be involved in the quadriceps just because quadriceps gets input from L2, L3, and L4. So therefore, correct answer here, it's most likely to cause weak quadriceps with anterolateral thigh paresthesia. This is the L4 nerve root, dermatome and myotome. These other answer options, a weak psoas, a lot of times we associate the psoas with L2 and L3. And so therefore the weak psoas is most likely to be either L2 or L3 radiculopathy. The weak extensor hallucis longus, so we're down to the great toe extension, that's most likely to be L5. And then weakness with ankle plantar flexors, that's most likely to be associated with S1 or the S1 nerve root. So therefore, of all the options, the most correct one here is going to be that weak quadriceps with anterolateral thigh paresthesia related to the L4 nerve root, which is the, the most likely problem when you have an L3, L4 disc herniation. So again, just as a, as a reminder, it's, it's almost like the disc is hitting the wrong nerve root because indeed it is expected that the L3 nerve root exits below L3 However, the disc is further below, the, it's, it's all in a tight little space, but the disc is below where the nerve root exits. And so therefore, in the cauda equina, the disc is most likely to hit the wrong nerve root or the nerve root that's exiting at the next segment down. So again, the L3, L4 disc herniation is most likely to hit the L4 nerve root. And again, that's unique, very unique to the cauda equina in the lumbar spine. This principle would not apply in the cervical spine or the thoracic spine. So just keep that in mind. This is a unique principle that is related to the lumbar spine, specifically to the cauda equina and the lumbar intervertebral discs. So there you go. There's the question related to intervertebral discs. Uh, I did want to mention, at least talk just a little bit more about what's going on on uh, March 1st. So uh, what's going on is that we've got an on-site session. So you have to get yourself here. You have to get yourself to Chicago. It, it's at a sweet venue. I think you'll really like that. And what's cool about this is lodging is covered. So you get two nights of lodging, which is included in your participation in this free event. So really meals and lodging, <laughs> if nothing else, come for the meals and lodging. But this is being sponsored by Athletico, one of our corporate partners. Athletico is working to try to activate your career and help professionals develop their career, especially those of you who are graduating in 2024. And so therefore, if you want to attend this event, again, it comes with free hotel and free meals while you are there, then you'll you'll not want to miss this. So it will begin on Thursday, February 29th, and then we'll have our on-site session. So that's where I'll be there. We'll be going through PT final exam content, talk about exam day, really go through a, a full robust course. In addition to that, you'll get access to all of our premium course features. Again, this is all being sponsored by Athletico. And so a big shout out to them. And, and again, full disclosure here, they're interested in talking with you, helping you develop your career. And again, there's no commitment here other than if you come, you should enjoy and take, take advantage of all the, the great opportunity. So again, two nights free are included with this course. Uh, you get access to a full day of PT final exam content in addition to all of our premium recorded content. Plus the next day, so Saturday, March 2nd, uh, they're bringing in a speaker. I'm actually uh, friendly with this guy, Connor Pierce. Uh, he he runs a, an a, it's called After the DPT. It's a great understand. It's a great program on understanding and paying off your student loans for the least possible amount. And so, like he was talking, I was talking to him a couple months ago. He was telling me about someone he say he literally saved them fifty thousand dollars by helping them understand what the current student loan repayment programs were, and. He, he said this person, they couldn't thank him enough. Like, oh my goodness, how could you not know this? And it was it was a really great experience. And that's something that he's quite passionate about. So I think you'll enjoy that. So it, it's a double, a double whammy here where on Friday, you'll get an all-day NPTE prep con course. And then on Saturday, you'll get an understanding student loans and how to save as much money as possible on that so that you can, again, pay the least possible to pay off your student loans, save on interest, save on, on all 
all of the things related to student loans. So I, I won't give away too much of his stuff, but in any case, I think you'll really enjoy that. Uh, and again, this is this is totally free. Uh, you get free housing and free meals. You do have to get yourself there. So like we did this a while ago and I had a student who they were living abroad and they said, Will, I'd love to attend this course, but I need you to buy my plane ticket to get there. And it's like, no, no, no. You've got to get yourself to Chicago if you can do so on February 29th. So it's a Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I think you'll really enjoy that. Again, totally free. And then they do have some perks. There's some pretty cool perks if you do want to to end up working with Athletico. They've, they'll have site or uh, staff on site in the case that you do want to interview for a position there. But again, that's totally optional. Really, they quite literally, they just want to, to establish goodwill with the community. They want to help people be aware of their services with Athletico. And by so doing their, or to do so, they're going to sponsor this NPT course. They're doing NPT course on site. And this will be in, again, this will be in Chicago on February 29th through, so it's Thursday, February 29th through Saturday, March 2nd. So if you want to learn more or apply to attend this, again, the site, the, the spots are extremely limited. So you'll want to apply as quickly as possible. They set a deadline of Janu the end of January. So you'll want to make sure to get everything in. Uh, you go, click the link, at least put your name in. Certainly, you don't, I don't know. It's one of those things where you want to make sure to get on this list. It has to be done by the end of January so you can attend this. Uh, to access the link d directly, just go to ptfinalexam.com slash podcast. Again, where you can find all of that, find the link and all the information here. So there you go. Kind of a, a long spiel there, but I think you'll really enjoy it. And again, it's totally free. So why wouldn't you do it? Uh, for, and free lodging and free meals. So it's not just a, I don't know. I feel like it's, it's a screaming deal. If I was a, a PT student, a DPT student at this moment, this would be something that would be like we last time we did this, we had people come from from several states away. They drove all day to get there. Like it was it was cool. And in addition to that, like I say, you'll get all of the NP or the PT final exam premium content, which includes our practice exams, our pre recorded material, um, access to our like I said our our ongoing webinar series. You'll be able to access all that again at no additional charge. You just have to apply and attend the session. So if you can't attend. Uh, hopefully we'll be doing one a little bit later this year, but you should, you should sign up for this one ASAP. If you want to, if you're testing any time in the first part of the year, either April or July, you won't want to miss this. So excellent. With that, we'll bring today to a conclusion. Uh, thanks for sticking around with me. I sure appreciate it. Appreciate your, your efforts as you prepare for the NPTE. I know that it's a big deal. I know you've got a lot on your plate, but thank you for what you do. So with that, we'll bring it to a conclusion. Thanks everyone. I'll catch you all in the next episode. We'll crane fist pumps all around and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks.